Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over the installation of the Steam CMD server command line client on a Linux dedicated server. The link to the instructions can be found in the video notes below and it'll follow on into the instructions with uh, the work that's being done on the server. Now depending on your version of uh, Linux uh, your commands may look a little different. Um, you can either follow Steam's instructions explicitly, you can follow what I do in the video. Um, if neither seem to match your instance, then as always, Google is your friend. So the first thing we need to do is create a new user on our system that is going to be named Steam. And in my case, I'm also going to add permissions for that user to sudo. I'm going to switch to the new Steam user that we created. And I'm going to move into that user's new home directory. Okay, so at this point, we are operating as the user Steam and we are operating in the user's home directory. Now we're going to install the Steam CMD package. The easiest way to do this is through the package installer. You can see the various versions here, uh, depending on your uh, Linux. In my case for Ubuntu, we'll be running this package installer. Tabbed OK. And then once the installer is completed, we want to set up a link to the actual executable in the directory where we are currently operating. Okay. And if we look at the contents of our directory now, we will see we have this logical link, Steam CMD pointing to the Steam executable. And at this point, we can go ahead and launch the Steam CMD executable. Steam CMD is now installed and ready for login. And in the next video, I'll cover logging into Steam CMD with a Steam account that we've created especially for this purpose and initiating the installation of the Arma 3 server. Thanks.